begin to open my eyes and he said, the mineral resources that is in this country that made God to open my eyes and give me a revelation. I got a revelation. This revelation was given on the third force or two before the third force. And he said, Nigeria should pray because I see where some part are now being recolonized. 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 I don't know why. I don't know why. And I don't know the meaning of recolonizing. I don't know why. I don't know the meaning. But we must pray. China. China. We must pray. China. I see China coming to recolonize some part of this country. China completed the building of the police station in Inuku State, Nigeria. This picture you are seeing right here is the Chinese police station newly built in Inuku State, Nigeria. On Monday, November 13, the new police station will be commissioned and opened by the Nigerian government and the Chinese ambassador to Abuja. So the first batch of personnel will be taken there on Tuesday, November 14, 2022. So the, the, the newly police station that they are building in Lagos is yet to be completed. They are building another one in Ad Adawama State. They are building another one in Anambra State, and they are building another one in Abuja. But this one in Inuku State is completed and will be commissioned on Monday. So may the Lord take absolute control and deliver his people and set us free and give us grace that we may be able to do the right thing that we need to do. Because we are in the time that God is now with the angels taking record of every man's words. Every man character, every man doings, whatever you do, the seed you sow, the price you pay, whatever you do as a person, God is busy taking record of everything. This is why a songwriter wrote a song and he said, whatever we do is written. And because everything we do is written, one day will come, we will now be made to see what we have done. And when we begin to make to receive what we have done, what we will now say that is the reason why we did what we did. Because this is what is written about the people ruling Nigeria now. I see when they are now thank God, they brought out everything done and they were nowhere to answer the prayer, to answer the call. So we need prayer and we need the right thing to be done because I know that anybody that wants to do the good things, that want to do good. There are sometimes forces that fight them. You know, I talk about the foundation of this country. I talk about the faulty foundation. And I talk about how the devil, when the amalgamation was going on, how demon came in operation and the, 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 there wasn't anything like a proper arrangement. God was not involved. They had to push, push, push and bring some idol worship and demonic influence to do what they did. Which means the deliverance is what will go straight away from the beginning before the total deliverance can be done. So that is by the way. I pray that people in Nigeria will not suffer what is called a financial breakdown. Financial breakdown. Be careful because financial breakdown is ringing all over the place. But we must use prayer to stand with God and say no to financial breakdown. Because when financial breakdown begins to come, it is coming so that they can be able to break everybody down. But financial breakdown, we must pray against it. Anything financial breakdown, we must what all pray against it. That God should not allow financial breakdown. Financial breakdown is a very terrible taboo. Very terrible taboo. We must pray against things. We must pray against hunger. We must pray against what is called hunger and what is called a poverty. Poverty, hunger, we must pray against it. And the name of God and the name of God alone will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. So, wherever you are and whatever you are doing, everybody should learn how to industrialize. Learn how to industrialize. Learn how to, 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 to farm. Learn how to produce and how to do things on your own. Production uh, doing things on our own and whatever we know how to do will help us to go a long way to conquer the evil things that are ahead.
Remember, I told you price of commodities, how they are going to fly up. We are already noticing that. We are already seeing it, already happening. We must pray. And the reason why this prayer is needed to be able to counter the evil days. The evil days must not encroach us or cross the territory or push us back. The prayer is highly needed. And the essence of all this prayer is for our total victory. Pray for America. Let the will of God be done there. Whatever is the will of God, let it be done. And also pray also about UK, United Kingdom. Pray also. I'm seeing United Kingdom. There are issues. Issues in the realm of the spirit. United Kingdom. Pray for United Kingdom. They have issues. And secret keep opening. Secret keep opening. They begin to ask oh, what is all of these things and all of these problems that we are facing that is happening all over the world. And God said, there is nothing that is happening done. The world is waiting for the true person, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But before this, many countries, I see many countries now begin to believe in separation and all of that. So I don't know what God has already perfected to do, but all that I see and all that is revealed is revealed for our own consumption. So whatever is hidden is hidden in the sight of God and God kept it for himself. Whatever is revealed is revealed for our own consumption. We must all pray and believe God and also pray for the innocent people. I see in the realm of the spirit we are uh, a lot of people that are also the people that we are looking at as the people that are uh, killers or this banditry or this very people that we look at and we say this are the people that we call uh, the people that are, are terrorists. I see we are many of them now begin to come out to confess the real truth of what is happening. Confessing the real truth, many of them, because of the prayer going on, prayer is seriously going on and the, a lot of people that are seen as uh, banditry or seen as, 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 as terrorism, a lot of them are going to confess and the, a lot of people will be indicted. They will indict a lot of people. They will mention a lot of names. They will bring a lot of people in the open. They will now testify. They will use video that will go virus. Video that will go virus all over the world. You see video, somebody will calling names and be telling, oh, these are the people that are using us. This one, this, 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 this. And this is what I see happening straight away in this country, Nigeria. We must all pray that the hand of God will prevail. God can never be defeated. You can try to try as if you want to defeat man. But when it comes to God, nobody has ever defeated God. And so that is why every human being that knows what he's doing must always put God ahead, put God first. When you put God first and then God begin to lead the way. Now, no human being or power or spirit or whatever terror can defeat God. God is undefeatable. You can never defeat God. You cannot defeat Christ. Jesus is the rock and is the rock of ages. And nobody that jammed the rock that will not be broken into pieces. He that jammed the rock, the Bible says, shall be broken into pieces. And whosoever the rock shall jam, shall be grounded into powder. You see? So we are in a time that everybody must know that Jesus, the rock, is not somebody that can be defeated or somebody that can be overrun. Can never. And so the people with different agendas from international world planning to take over and destroy everything and destroy the innocent they will not succeed the only thing that will succeed is when everybody will agree and sit together and discuss and agree on how we want it you want to stay on your own stay on your own you want to be here be here and that is what is called referendum that is what will happen but somebody to come from anywhere who want to wipe off everybody and take over the land is not possible. God is not to be defeated. God is not to be defeated. And I'm seeing the dangerous prayers going on. I look into the bush. The Lord took me into the forest. I see myself in the forest. Because I enter in the realm of the spirit. I enter into the forest. And I see most of the forests, I see the ground of the forests filled with a lot of mineral resources deposits and when i see this deposit and i see people now saying we want to take over the whole thing 
so that we can mine all these things and take it away. And I see another opposite people praying right on the mountain and also in the bush mountain. And I ask them, what are you praying for? They say, they are praying that God should fight the evil. God should fight the evil. So God is the one to fight evil. And when God begins to fight the evil, victory will surely be given. You cannot defeat the truth. You cannot defeat the people that are with God. You can do everything possible, but those that are with God can never be defeated because they will have the strength that cometh from above. They will have the strength from above and their strength will be undefeatable. So, let the name of the Lord be praised and let the hand of the Lord be lifted up mightily to give us absolute victory. What we pray for is the absolute victory. The victory from above. The victory of the Lord. The victory of Jesus. The victory that will propel us to keep going higher, higher. Because what we pray for and what we dream and what we desire is higher, higher. Can never go lower, lower. As personal people, as individuals, God will never let us go lower, lower. Rather, we will go higher, higher. This is why a song that I wrote a song and said, I am going higher, yes I am. Going with Jesus to stay. I am going above the shadow. Into the presence of God. Into the presence of Jesus. I am going higher someday. I am going higher, yes I am. Going with Jesus to stay. Presence of Jesus, I am going to last someday. 